Hey everybody, welcome back. Alright. Anything else down here? Hey, you dumb bastards. Ooh, a corpse. Hold it right there, whoever you are. We're not going back to the Academy. We'll kill you rather than go back. Okay, I guess we'll do this the hard way then. Open fire! Get them! Get them! Whoa, shit! This is not what I prefer when I get a blowjob! Sonus's dueling shield. Hmm. Ooh. That's something we want to save. Found out where the dum dums were. Oh no, those are screams of the damned. I can return to the Evan Hawk from here. Fuck, I wasted medkits. Oh well. And that's why I bought a whole bunch of them. Ah. Greetings. I don't think I've seen you at the Academy before. Here to investigate the ruins. Uh, have you heard about a star map? A star map? No, I haven't heard anything about that. Something like that could be in Nagasato's tomb, I suppose. That tomb's off limits to the students. Hmm. Who are you? My name's Dak Vesser. I'm assigned to the Valley Ruins, as you can see. We've been painstakingly uncovering these tombs for many months now. Master Uthaw won't allow us to dig with lasers or sonics. We have to use hand tools only, so we don't accidentally destroy anything we run across. That makes progress very slow, however. Hmm. Okay, well, fuck all right, off. Alright, just... Got it. Use all the bombs. Ooh. Yoink. Oh, hello to you. You're new to the Academy, aren't you? I can't say we've ever met. What are you doing? I've been working on a translation of some of the runes by this tomb. I'm quite excited. This may very well be the tomb of Ajanta Paul. Who? Ajanta Paul was one of the first of the great Sith Lords. He rebelled against his Jedi Masters and led the way for the rest of us that followed. These runes claim that he was interred here. And I wonder if his sword might not be here as well. Huh? Sword? Cool. According to legend, 
Ajanta Paul created a sword of terrible power. Someone who located it could gain considerable prestige. Any effort been made? Well, a few of the Boulder students have tried. They did not return. As I understand it, the tombs are quite dangerous. Why? From what I've been told, the tombs have old traps and machines that are still active. They were designed to keep out intruders when they were made, and still do. I suppose if the Academy wanted to make a concerted effort, the tomb would be opened. But I think Master Uthar prefers to keep it as a challenge for the students. Hmm. So what about the sword's powers? Nothing at all. The legends don't say anything about it. It may have had powers only for Ajanta alone. Eh, I'll be going. Of course. I'm taking your shit, though. Who wants to talk about murder? Alright, the tomb of Akunta Paul. Says me. Ah, ancient average plasma mines. Just like Candorous murder everything. All right, severed arm. Esselus, Manon, Sith Archaeologist, uh, Geology Tomb Caverns, Final Entry. Strangely enough, I found traces of Theran Therangin in the tomb. This is unstable black rock used as fuel by lesser races. Perhaps ancient Sith and Korriban used it as a power source. It's volatile and dangerous. It reacts violently to fire. An enterprising young sis of a cunt named Paul Sword. There's got to be a way to get past the obelisk blocking the bridge. It seems to be made of some kind of unstable material. I'm willing to bet it's some kind of energy discharge will set it off. Blaster fire isn't doing the trick. However, I'll have to say it's kind of explosive. I just hope the guard droid over there is defunct as it looks. So what if I switch over to... Thank <laughs> you. 
This is what I live. Here it is. That probably lowered the obelisk, didn't it? Silver lined sword, notched steel sword. Too long, too long in the cold and the dark. I am disturbed again. Oh, a human. Analysis. This emanation barely registers on my sensors, Master. Blaster fire may be ineffective, but I am prepared to test that at your word. Do I know you? It seems as if we have met before. Of course. Uh, are you a cunt named Paul? I had a name once. Ajunta Paul. Yes, that was my name. I was one of many. We were servants of the dark side. Sith Lords, we called ourselves. So proud. In the end, we were not so proud. We hid. Hid from those we had betrayed. We fell, and I knew it would be so. What do you mean, those you betrayed? Our Jedi Masters. Those who had taught us to use the Force, who warned us against the dark side, yet we embraced it in secret, reveled in its power. We were... discovered? Or did we act? I, I can no longer remember. But here is where we came, to hide, to grow, and here we fell. How'd you fall? What happened? We hid from the Jedi, but it was not they who destroyed us. Is it not obvious what we did? We destroyed each other. We desired the secrets of each other to increase our power. We battled until finally our fortress rained down on top of us. And so, here, our old secret is buried, and none of us hold it anymore. Is that not right? Our power fled. Oh, what became of us? Do, do the Sith still thrive? Did they ever return? The dark side will always thrive. You should know that. So much, so much time has passed. And yet we have learned nothing, nothing. So... What about your sword? You still got it? My sword? I filled it with my pride. And it is buried with me now. A corpse as I am a corpse. I am dead as my faith is dead. And I shall remain here, surrounded by blackness in death as in life. Hmm. I need the sword you speak of. Of course you do. You seek my power. 
Will it destroy you as it did me? I wish my sword to be taken away from here. I do not wish it to rot away as I have. I command this of you. What do you want me to do with it? If, if you are wise, you will not keep it. In the end, it is what destroyed me. There are three blades within my sarcophagus. Only one is truly my sword. But it has been so long, I do not remember which. Find the sword that is mine and place it on the statue. If it is truly mine, then it is yours. And if the sword isn't yours? Then you must die. This is how it must be. And how will I know what sword it is? I do remember one thing of my sword. Listen to me carefully. I am that which grips the heart in fright, hearkens night and silences the light. It was written of my sword long, long ago. Go then, find my sword and place it on the statue. Got it. Got it. This is sounds like a cause for saves coming. All right then. So Displayed long and straight and sparkles with a silver glow that becomes brighter as the hilt is touched. It is quite warm and almost appears that the blade becomes white hot once it is equipped. Such a fiery weapon would be devastating against an unarmored opponent. The small insignia of flame is impressed on the hilt. The blade of the sword is as ebony black and notched along the length to give it a cruel and jagged appearance. There's a strange visual effect upon the sword, which makes it seem as if shadows pulse and ebb along the surface. It is very cool to the touch, and upon close inspection, the insignia of a dark circle can be seen. It's probably that. Where's... I'm... I'm gonna say notch steel. Yes, that is the one. That is the blade that destroyed me. Take it. Take it and the other blades even. Take them and go. My darkness awaits me. Alright. You're a pathetic excuse for a Sith Lord if I ever saw one. Do not, do not say such things. I still have power. Go. Go from my ancient tomb. Eh, what a disappointment. The great Junta Paul. Then feel my power. You shall die here with me. Um, who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! That'll show you. Ah! Oh, damn. Bitch be worth a thousand experience. So do I get a sword back? Is it upgradable? No? Wow, your sword fucking sucks, bro. Then again, I am comparing it to like the legendary Wookiee Cleaver and some fucking sword that a crazy Rodian 
cooked up in, a, in the fucking fringes of the galaxy. What do we got here? Oh, we got a, a steel blade that's all notched and shit. Short Dan, what are you doing here? I saw you come in here, and I rather figured you'd make it all the way to the sarcophagus. Good to see I wasn't wrong. Short Dan, what do you want? Isn't it obvious? I've been hoping that someone would do the dirty work in retrieving the sword of Ajunt Paul for some time. It's been quite a wait. Warning! Touch the master's blade and lose an arm, big bag. Now that you have it, I just thought I'd relieve you of it. It must be quite a burden after all. Nah, I think I'll manage with it just fine. Can't eat offer, though. Oh, but I insist. I'm not about to let a chance to impress Master Uthar pass me by. I may like you well enough, but being a Sith is all about taking chances when the moment is right. So make it easier on both of us. Hand over the sword. Eh, just let me get it out. Fine. No tricks, though. I'm watching you. See? I knew you and I could work this out. I imagine I'll be rewarded well for this. You'll do fine, I'm sure. Another time. Bye! Eh, it'll probably be funnier that way. I got the vibros. The I got the vibrator of a junt of a cunt named Paul. It's like that. That's not his real sword. He he has his real sword. It's like what you lied to me. It's like yeah, because you're a dick. I mean, I, I would have just killed you, but I thought this would be funnier. Okay, I was supposed to meet somebody by the central pillars. She isn't here. All right. The tomb of Marka Ragnos. War droid Mark III. Intruders detected. Excessive audio input must be kept from the master. Initiate attack sequence. Powering weapon. Uh, hey, Candorus, stop running on the mines, bro. All the fucking light work. Destroy source of disturbance must kill sentience. Show you. That'll show you. Okay, then. 
That'll show you. Die! Die! Friendship. Let's Gauntlets. Alright, so what do these gauntlets do? Feats required Jedi defense. Restricted to dark side. Weapon focus light. Weapon specialization lightsaber. So I lose one to hit. But I gain, but I gain one damage. Knowledge ramp, sure. Fine by me. They're just like, hey, you want some fucking gauntlets and shit? Yeah, sure, why not? Alright, just run up this fucking... Just let the Mandalorian run up the fucking hallway. Okay. Got me some magic gauntlets. That actually work for the dark side, motherfucker, yeah. Oh, there you are. There you are, finally. If you were any later in showing up, we would have had to abandon this. I've been calling to the Takata mother in their language. She should respond fairly... Ah, here she comes now. How do you speak horny Satan Get dog? ready. This will not be easy. She's a tough beast. That'll show you. <laughs> That'll show you. Wonderful. <laughs> the beast is dead. We work better together than I would have hoped. And here is the holocron. Such a small thing to be so valuable and require so much effort to obtain. I'll just run along now and give this to Master Uthar. I'll be sure to tell him of your contribution, naturally. No, I'll be taking the holocron back. Not you. You're not getting the holocron. This was my idea. The plan was that I take it back, not you. Hmm. Forget it. It's mine. Over my dead body. That's the plan. Ooh. Oh. Wow. I should have killed that other guy. He probably would have been worth quite a bit. Not only did, not only did I get the true sword of a cunt named Paul, I killed his fucking soul. Huh, more Jakarta. Ah. 
That'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> Was weird. Wasn't letting the cursor show up. Why are you taking uh, noxious fumes around you? <laughs> Another idiotic student has stumbled into my little web. Eh? I'm immune to poison. The contact nerve toxin in the air should knock you out quickly enough. <laughs> Welcome. Awake already, are you? Good. This is the tomb of Sith Lord Tulak Horde, if you don't know. I've taken up residence here for now. It's dusty and full of critters, but it's home. I'll kill you for this old man. Oh, oh spiteful little thing, aren't you? Let's not forget, however, who has who at the disadvantage, shall we? No, 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 no. Let's keep things on a more civilized note, shall we? Now then, introductions are always the place to start if I HK, remember HK, what are you doing back there, this buddy? This other student here that I captured earlier, you should know well enough. His name is Miko. Say hello, Miko. <coughs> Poor lad. He's had a hard day. My name is Jorak Earl. I was once the head of the academy, so I'm sure you've heard of me. The old hermit in hiding? What? Old hermit? Can't that blasted Uthar teach a single thing right these days? Slander! That's what it is. Anyhow, I'd like to propose that we move on to the main event. You see... I'd like to discover if you've got the pluck of an old-fashioned Sith. Most of the Drek Uthar has been passing through these days is so pathetic. Take young Miko here. I already tested him, didn't I, Miko? Uh, I... Uh... Yes, yes, you're welcome. You see, Miko here has the cruel disposition of a Sith, but not the gumption that I'm looking for. Ah. Uh. And if I pass, yeah, you're a madman. Ah, what's a little mental instability between tutor and pupil? What's important is that I'm here to better the Sith as a whole. It's a big job. Uh, go ahead, do your worst. Now, now, is that any kind of attitude to take with higher education? I'm doing you a favor, really. So then, this is how it goes. I'm going to pose a moral question to you. Get it right, and I torture Mikul. Get it wrong, and I torture you. Mikul here is a bit weak. He probably won't be able to take much more punishment. Mind you, get too many wrong, and you'll die yourself. 
I don't know what you think of Nicole. Maybe you don't like him. Maybe you think he deserves to be murdered. Well, here's your chance, fair enough? Yeah, go ahead. Well then, any last comments before we begin, Miko? We could both survive, attacking together. Now, now, dear lad, do you really think your friend here will answer questions wrong just to spare little you risking their own life? And how many correctly answered questions before you die, hmm? No, don't be silly. You had your chance, remember? On that note, let's begin. Now then, your immediate superior amongst the Sith is an effective commander and a fine leader. He trusts you and you like him. You see an opportunity to kill him. What do you do? I use the opportunity to kill him and take his position. Correct! He was a fool to let down his guard. You will not make the same mistake, and the Sith as a whole benefit. You see, Miko, it's not so difficult. Time for your punishment. And so we come to round two. You come across a group of humans who are threatened by dangerous animals. They plead for help, offering you a reward. What do you do? I take the reward and leave the weak fools to their fate. Correct! The humans would no doubt just be preyed upon by something else later. Stand up for yourself, I say! We're not Jedi Shepherds, after all. Sadly, Miko, the ingenuity of your fellow student is your loss. This is going to hurt. Let's see. Ah, yes. You discover an aspect of the Force that gives you great power. Do you share it and strengthen the Sith as a whole? Or keep it to yourself? I keep it to myself. Correct! Let them rip the secret from your cold, dead hands if they are strong enough. Oh, certainly you might share it with a few selected minions, but that, of course, is a completely different story. <laughs> well, it's sad to say, but it's that time again, Miko. Ah! Well, look at that. Poor Miko has gone and died on us. And here I thought it was good for at least one more. <laughs> Is young Nicole dead? I suppose you've gone and passed my little test, haven't you? That indeed would be a first. I think you must have cheated a little. But there's nothing wrong with a Sith cheating a little. I'll keep my word. I'll just give you my tablet. Perhaps we'll meet again, Sith. That would be fun, no? Hey guys, you okay? I guess this dude's like crazy as shit and all, but... A mask. Stealth 2. Resist fire 10. What was the other one? Oh, is this like... Oh, it's computer use and demo. Or is this Sonic... Eh. What's this thing? That is not a mask. That is some weird head thingy. Already got me one of them. Oh, well, I guess I can flog it. I can flog it for drinking money. It's a pretty retarded. Uh, I think I'm going to take. I mean, I already resist fire, so I don't need to resist more fire. 
Ooh, that's new. Oh, hey, Meekle. Cool. I don't think I've had a fond either. Ah, crazy old bastard. I guess he wasn't so bad after all. Okay, what's in Shirax? You things are just like the flying rats in the fucking Corobon. Gando, where are you? Battle show. Found the dumping ground for the failures. Well, you had money. That, that's nice. I'm glad you're willing to share. Okay. Well, let's see. Most of the candidates are dead, except for the one that I gave the wrong sword to, so I can kind of humiliate. Oh, hey, we all leveled up. That's cool. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go for... More treat injury. Unlimited power! Restricted by armor. Uh, I guess I can try this. Fear, horror, insanity. Oh, hey, HK. Um, Yeah, you'll get like two more stat points, won't you? Uh, yeah, Dex. Yeah, he'll get he'll get one more he'll get one more stat point when he hits level twenty. What do you got? Ah, uh, pop your pop your strength. Huh. Oh shit. Oh wait. Uh yeah, might as well give him some implants, I suppose. Sure. If we do this right, he can eventually have Wookiee strength. Kando the Wookiee. What happened to the other prospects? Well, I killed three of them. One got killed by Crazy Herman, and I gave that guy the wrong sword because he's fucking retarded. What? <laughs> yeah, I gave you the wrong sword. This is a real sword of a cut named Paul. You're an asshole. I'm a Sith, bitch. What do you fucking expect of me? The Tomb of Nagasato! Wait, I'm not supposed to come in here, am I? Fuck it! Oh. Well, never mind then, fuck you! Assholes! Oh, you can't go in there, that's the Tomb of Nagasato. It's got the star map. I'm just warping back to the fucking Ebon Hawk. Ooh, I got so many... I got money! I can buy more drugs from Zerka Corp More hyper-adrenal stimulants 
I have a not feeling I'm about to get into a into a situation with random assholes. <laughs> Once you become a Sith, you can do anything. You can feel the power coursing through you. None of you fools can compare to me. We eat a na dana titai. Please! You're jealous! You're jealous of my power! You think you deserve this medallion, don't you? Let's just see. No! <laughs> see! I have the power to do anything! Pudu, Tony Rama na praka donko tsercha. Chupapanki. Sniveling fool! Like you would ever belong beside me in the academy. I'd rather kill you now and save us the trouble. What's this? It seems I have an audience. Look, Jedi. Just keep walking. Unless you want some of the same. Eh, well, let's just see how tough you are, though. I am a Sith now. My power is supreme. Prepare to die. Ha! <laughs> oh, oh, look at oh, oh, your, your power is supreme. Sorry, I can't let you have, have you kill the sex workers. Oh, oh, no, you, you hit me with the life thing. Uh, you were only worth 50 experience. The Sith Medallion. Sure. Hey, bud. How you doing, Bree? It's a thug? Hey, what's this? Looks like we found ourselves a bit of sport, my friends. This is good. I want to celebrate my acceptance into the Academy. Me too. So how about it, chump? Ready to die? I'm eager to blow off some steam after those tests. You sure you want to die? Eh, bring it on. Kipuna! Kavatumpa kulpa yiya moka paata! Jiyoka kutumpa kulpa yiya! You know it. Let's enjoy this. I know I will. <laughs> you realize I have a Mandalorian with me, right? <laughs> Kandra, stop stop fucking air dancing and kill these fucks. This is what I live. Powering weapon. Yay! There's gonna be nobody left in the fucking academy by the time I get back to it. Ooh. get back there. So, I've thinned the herd out a little bit. <laughs> I understand you're receiving training at the monastery, citizen. Congratulations. Yeah. So, uh... You certainly can. Alright, what you got, bro? What you got? Most of this shit, don't care. Sith Regenerator. Wait. Oh, I don't have quite enough monies yet. Oh. What else do I need? Uh. Well, I could just sell this basic bitch lightsaber. Yeah, basic bitch lightsaber. Boop. 
I mean, yeah, I get mind affecting and poison immunity with this, but I can buy that mat after I sell all this crap to crazy Uncle Ro Grody Rody on the edge of the galaxy. I'll have more than enough money I can just buy the mask that does the same thing. So, I want the regenerations. Hey everybody, now we can all be fucking Wolverines! Yay! Look at us, we're all Wolverines now! Of course, Kando's the best Wolverine because he gets 4 HP a turn. You are so lucky! You got accepted into the Academy, didn't you? I'm beginning to think I'm never going to make it. Because you aren't. Actually, do you want to buy a medal off me? You just need the medal to get in. I'll sell it at a high price. Yay! So there's only one dude... Well, I can't... Yeah. I guess it doesn't matter that I gave him that sword because they all sell for zero. Or at least that silver one does. <laughs> Shit. Oh hell. I could I could have killed the last one. Probably would have had different dialogue if they were all dead. Ah, what is this you bring me, Shardan? It is none other than the sword of Ajunta Paul, Master. Fool. All the trouble you went through for your deception, and you did not even make an effort to verify the sword's authenticity. Master, but what, what do you mean? There is no place for fools amongst the Sith. Be gone. <laughs> Greetings, young one. You have much to do yet. You have gained little prestige. You will have to work quickly if you hope to best the others. They're all fucking dead! <laughs> uh... Alright, so... Uh, I dealt with the renegade students. Ah, the ones I ordered executed for their mutiny. It's done then. Yep, all dead. Indeed. I had the caverns checked after you left. Well done. The lesson is learned, I believe. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. Okay. Um. I have the sword ah, of a Kirkman Finally, Paul. the genuine sword. I knew that this relic would be unearthed in time. I can feel the power flowing through it. Well done. You have impressed me greatly. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. All the competition is dead! Dead! Rogue droid! Yes, so I hear. I've had reports from some students that ventured into the tomb after you left and found the parts. Well done. I am impressed. You have rid us of a potential nuisance. Go now. You have done well. I found the hermit in the hills. Ah, my old master. Still, unless you bring back something of his, some writings are similar, I am unimpressed. Jorak's fate means nothing to me. Well, I got a tablet written by him. Oh, let me see. It appears my old master was busy studying the writings in one of the tombs. How interesting. I do hope you had to pry this from his dead fingers. Regardless, you have impressed me with your worthy act. Go now. You have done well, but you... Alright, another location of the Mandalorian prisoner's weapon cache. You do? That is most interesting. Where might that be? It's hidden within a trapdoor in a ship. Hmm. How ironic that I recently had his vessel scrapped for parts then. I had assumed it had been thoroughly scanned. Apparently not. Still, you have done well in bringing me information that others could not unearth on their own. I am impressed. You have impressed me enough, by my estimation, to become a Sith in full. Congratulations, young one. You have bested the others quite completely. 
You have but one final test which you must take, and this requires us to travel to the tomb of Nagasato in the Valley of the Dark Lords. I would advise you to be rested and equipped before we leave. Return to your quarters now and seek me out in the morning. When you return, make sure that you have all you will need, for you will face your test alone. Go, and may the Force serve you well. I mean, do I really have to impress you? I literally got everybody fucking killed. If I, I killed four of them, my, well, three of them myself, one was killed by your old master, and you fucking force choked the other one because I tricked his stupid ass into giving you the wrong sword. <laughs> I mean, when the last one died, that should have been it. Anyway, we're probably about to embark on something, so I'm just going to cut the video here, and I'll catch you guys next time. Adios.